following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a tag team match. Introducing first, from Edmond, Oklahoma, Charlie Haas! And his partner, from Malibu Beach, California, the surfer Cody Hawk! And their opponents. You know, Les, I gotta tell you, uh, Sanders trying to get away with everything he can get away with, always confronts Patrick Black, always has something up his sleeve, always gets shot down and never seems to learn. I don't know what Sanders' deal is other than he's an, an incredibly slow learner. What do we have here? Lash LaRue, straight from Mardi Gras, the Cajun sensation, and his partner, Wee Wee, who seems to have a bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> And now, from Venice Beach, California, formerly known as Kwiwi, he is the Funkster! And his partner, the baddest Mama Jamma from South Louisiana, Lash LaRue! Kwiwi and Lash LaRue out against Charlie Haas, surfer Cody Hawk, and of course, Jim, after the Hanging With segment, we realized that the uh, invasion thing is basically over, and it could be former partner against former partner, brother against brother. <laughs> My God, you don't know when two guys step in the ring from this point forward, who is going to end up being the well, fan favorite you, or who's somebody, not? With somebody as crooked and as dishonest and disreputable and disgusting as Mike Sanders, he could be even more dangerous now because he doesn't have Shane McMahon as his big brother watching over him. He doesn't have this WCW alliance to depend on, a group, a gang, a thugs. He is, he's basically got to depend on who is going to stick with him and buy his line of crap so that he can have them take him to the, take him to the top. And that's Sanders' situation now. He could be even more dangerous right now. Charlie Haas opening up on Wee Wee. And of course, Les, wait a minute. Cover there, got the leg hook, couldn't make it stick. As you know, Wee Wee, his real name is Alan Funk. Now he calls himself the Funkster. He seems to have a little bit of an identity crisis. He's very reminiscent of a guy that we both know and really don't care to ever see again. And uh, yeah, he's a great athlete, but I think mentally, this guy's, uh, his, his dough is not all baked. I know, you know what? I, I'm looking at this TV show and thinking, if it were still October, we'd be at a Halloween party. We've seen Muda tonight, we've seen Sting, we've seen the Funkster. Uh, I'm expecting somebody to come out dressed as a snowman or Santa Claus or somebody before. What do you what do you follow that with? Hopefully a wrestling match is now the, the guys that are gonna try to provide us that wrestling match. Charlie Haas, Cody Hawk. Both these guys, of course, are very, very uh, familiar with tag team wrestling. Cody Hawk uh, multiple time HWA tag team champion with several partners, and of course Charlie and Russ Haas, one of the top developmental teams in the WWF chain. But of course, Russ on the DL, while he is, Cody has filled in admirably for him. They have formed a good combination, and the one thing they have in common is that they both had partnered Lance Cade, and he turned on both of them. Oh, wait a minute, Queen, we up on the ropes. Oh, springboard into a sunset flip. But there's Lash LaRue, the Cajun sensation. The Ayatollah of Shrimp Criola went for a clothesline, and I swear he tripped over Cody Hawk's ankle and went down to the, to the, to the canvas. But in the process, the confusion broke up what appeared to be the winning pinning predicament by, uh, by young Cody Hawk. Yeah, Lance, I mean, Lash will not head up the uh, Cajun Ballet Group at any point in time. Twinkle Toes LaRue now with a gut buster. Hooks the far leg, couldn't make it stick. Folks, we heard a lot of matches. Talked about for December 12th, the next uh, event for the HWA in Dayton at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. We remind you quickly, Next Friday night, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, Jillian's Warehouse in Covington. There's a lateral press cover. Once again, Cody Hawk comes out. And then next Saturday night, December 8th, the Red Barn Flea Market in Batavia. Big HWA action at 7.30. And of course, Friday, the 14th of December, Clark State Community College, the debut of Heartland Wrestling in Springfield, Ohio. Right. Should be tremendous events. And on all these cars, Jim, we're going to have WWF <laughs> superstar Rakishi Fatu will be along with us, uh, facing uh, several different opponents in different combinations. But of course, all the stars you see here will be on tap for those. And of course, the three big matches announced for Dayton. It is easy money defending the title once again against D'Lo Brown. Two referees this time. One, Mike Sanders in the ring, Steve Bradley on the outside. And Jamie Noble and Helena Heavenly team to take on Matt Stryker, Brandy Alexander, and former partner versus partner in Shannon Moore against Evan Courageous. Oh, right there, Kwee Wee just nailed Charlie Haas. Referee Robert Briscoe trying to keep Charlie Haas out of the ring. Haas's inexperience and, and hot headedness uh, distracting the referee there, which was exactly what Kwee Wee and Lash LaRue intended to happen. 
They made the switch with that benefit of the tag and a little double team on Cody Hawk to boot. Yes, sir, right now, LaRue working that reverse chin lock. Hope Hawk up to his feet, driving the elbows into the midsection, breaks free, tries with a tackle. Lash catches him and drops him across the knee with that reverse atomic drop. And he's going doing his little Cajun dance. Wait a minute. Whoa, and he nails Charlie Haas off the ropes. Cody Hawk ducks. Cody Hawk trying to make the tag there, drop kick in the back. Cody Hawk down face first, and Lash LaRue brings him back. You know, he's been the Ayatollah of Shrimp Criolla. I think he was also the Super Stooge from Baton Rouge. <laughs> and I'm just wondering uh, what's going to be next. Bro, oh, wait a minute. Oh, next. Twinkle Toes LaRue strikes again, hits his own partner. Charlie Haas makes the tag, and Haas is a Haas of fire. Yes, and right now Haas opening it up on LaRue and on Alan Funk or Kiwi -Wee or the Funkster or whatever. Anyway, Charlie Haas in the driver's seat. Hogan never took bumps like that in his life. <laughs> Charlie Haas now backs LaRue up, sends him off. Standing drop kick, beautiful in the execution. Oh, Kiwi -Wee with a save in the nick of time. This thing is, has broken loose and, and it's fast and furious. Prisco trying to keep track, big boot in the face. My God, it can't be. It shouldn't be, but it's gonna be. The, the leg, leg drop. <laughs> yes, Cody Hawk makes the save, stands Alan Funk up, shoots the right hand, and is blocked by, wait a minute, the Funkster is hulking up. Well, he just hooked out. <laughs> right through the ropes to the floor, and now there's Charlie Haas in the ring with Lash LaRue. Quee Wee and Hawk down, oh, Hawk stepping back in. Hawk hits the ropes, Charlie Haas has it up. Shake the Hurt Foundation, that's what I haven't seen in a while. Took it out of there and got the victory. Yes, they did, a pretty, pretty move. Teamwork, as we said, Cody Hawk filling in well for Charlie's brother, Ross. They come up with a big win over Kui Wee and Lash LaRue. And we'll be back with six-man tag team action right after this.